before starting the video, if you can, please print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Round each of the following numbers correct to two significant figures. First one, 3472. So these all non-zero digits. So therefore, all these numbers are significant. So first of all, we count how many significant figures first. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have four significant figures. So we only want two significant figures. So we have one, two here. So therefore, at the answer is, before you, we write 34, we have to check the number that after 4, so that is 7, so greater than 5, so therefore it's 35 instead of 34. And of course this becomes 0. So 3472 is equal to 3500. That is two significant figures because 0 at the end of whole number are not significant. Second one. So we know that this is one, two, three, four, five. So five significant figures at the moment because zero at the end of a decimal number is significant. So therefore we have five significant figures at the moment. So we want to have two significant figures. So we have one and two. So 25. But then before we write 25, we look at this number here is 0 0.0, so less than 5. So the answer is 25. That is two significant figures. So now these numbers here, we count first and last because they both are non-zero digits. So therefore, both of them are significant. So therefore, anything in between must also be significant. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we only want two significant figures. We have 6 and 0. Now before we write 60, of course, we check the number after 0. So from 5 onward, we round up. So therefore, instead of 60, it becomes 61. So it becomes 61,000. And these become 0, 0. So 61,000. There you go. So 60,507 become 61,000. Next one. 0 0.04564 because the 0 in front of the non-zero digit are not significant. So therefore we only have 1, 2, 3, 4 significant figures. And we want 2 significant figures. So therefore, we count this one and that one here. So that means 0 0.045. Of course, before we write 0 0.045, and we check the number after 5, is 6. So therefore, we round up. So instead of 45 becomes 46. So the answer is 0 0.046. So that is two significant figures. 0. 30100. Now remember, 0 at the end of a decimal numbers are significant. So therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 significant figures. So therefore, we want to have 2. So that is 0 0.30. And of course, we check the number after 0 is 1. So we round down. So that is 0 0.30. Three zero because for a decimal number zero at the end is significant so therefore we have two significant figures now so zero point three zero is two significant figures this one here eight point zero six seven five so we count the first and the last digit so therefore everything in between must count as well so one, two, three, four, five. So we have five significant figures. So we want two significant figures, right? So this is 8.0. So before we write 8.0, we 
we take the number up to zero, that is six. So remember, from halfway onward, we round up. So instead of 8.0, this time it becomes 8.1. So this is two significant figures. This one here. Now exactly the same questions, but this time we round off to three significant figures. So again, the first one here is equal to, so one, two, three. Okay, so we only want three significant figures. So this become, before we write that, the number after seven is two, so which is less than five, so which is three, four, seven, zero. So that is the answer. Next one. So at the moment, because zero at the end of a decimal number is significant. So this one here is significant and this one as well. So therefore anything in between also significant. So one, two, three, four, five. We have five significant figures. So what we do, we want three significant figures. So we up to here. Now before we write 25.0, we check the number up to zero. So which is one less than five. So we round down. So which is 25.0 is the same. So the answer is 25.0. So we have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So what we do, we round to three, okay? Remember that, so one, two, three. Before we write six, zero, five, check the number up to five, which is zero, so less than five. So the answer is six, zero, Five. And of course, the last two digits here become zero. So the zero at the end of whole number are not significant. Okay, so this is what it is. So three significant figures. This one here. So we have one, two, three, four significant figures. Remember, the zero at the front of a digit is not significant. So we have four here. And of course, we want we want to round up to three. So one, two, three. So we only write up to here. Of course, before you write that, you have to check the number after six, which is four, so less than five. So we just round down. So that's the answer here, 0 0.0456. Next one. So zero at the end of a decimal number is significant, right? So this one's significant. So therefore, this one's significant. So everything out in between also significant. So we count one, two, three, four, five. So five significant figures. So we want to round off to three significant figures. So we write up to here. So therefore, the one after one is zero, so less than five. The answer is zero point three zero one. 8.6. So at the moment, we only have one significant figure and another one, so which is two. But we want three significant figures. So 8.6. Now remember, zero at the end of a decimal number are significant. So which is, we add a zero in the back here. So which is 8.60 is this exactly the same as 8.6, but 8.6 is two significant figures, whereas 8.60 is three significant figures. That's what we want. So please stop the video and try this one yourself. First one. First of all, we know that there are two significant figures in the first number here because zero at the front of non-zero digit are not significant. So we only have one and two because we want to round off to one significant figure. So that equal to up to here, which is seven. So 0 0.007. This one here. 
we have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So we want to round up to three significant figures. So we have one, two, three. Now before we write that, of course, we need to check the number after zero, so which is five. So from halfway onward, we add one to it. So which is one, seven, one. And of course, five and two become zero, zero. So that means 17,100. So that is three significant figures. Next one here. We have one, two, three, four. So four significant figures and we want to round off to three. So we have one, two, three here. So therefore, this is the answer. But always remember, we check the number after the last digit. So which is after three, two, so which is less than five. So the answer is 0 0.0303. Next one. So we have one, two, three, four significant figures and we only want to round off to two significant figures. So we have two and zero. So before we write that, of course, we check the number after zero, which is five. So we round up from halfway onward. So instead of write 20, we write 21. And this becomes zero, this becomes zero. So this is 2,100, so which is two significant figures because zero at the end of a whole number are not significant. Last one. So we have one, two significant figures only because zero in front of a non-zero digit are not significant. So, but then we want to have three significant figures. So to make one extra, so all we need to do is we just add a zero in the back because for a decimal number, zero at the end is significant. So one, two, three. So now we have three significant figures. So the answer is 0 0.0750. So this is three significant figures. Last question. Now we have one, two, three, four significant figures. So what we do, we round up to only one. So eight, that's what we want, just eight. But again, you can't just write eight because this is 8,054. So we have to add one, two, three. So that is 8,000. There you go. Thank you so much for watching.